previously. The river is your best friend and your soulmate. The river is your best friend and your soulmate. You repeat after me. I take you, Douglas Stone. What? What if I don't want to? I can it. say it. Ah! I pronounce Douglas and the Touch of Stone. Yeah. Hey, 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 fuck yeah. Fuck a nice babe. Guess what, Natasha? What? You know why we just had that wedding? I just stole four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. What? So Douglas, how's married life much. treating you? Are you divorced yet? It's gonna be a shotgun divorce as well. Yeah, I think so, mate. You know, I think fucking so. Could get quite dirty if she betrays me and goes behind my back. But I hate to think she would, but I believe there's always a possibility. You know, once a pig, always a pig, right? Yeah. Mm. Well, that's just it. Yeah, her lifestyle doesn't really match yours either. Nah. Fuck no. Nah. Long story short, I'm going to uh, set up a little operation where I, uh, you know, transport some narcotics to a location. Now, I'm going to make sure she's well aware of what's going on to some degree. Ah, uh, right. You're going to test if she leaks that in. I would like to speak to you on a serious note. You've got something I want, and I've got something you want. Douglas, I want money. I want power. And I want... Fame. Yes, I'm listening. I've been thinking it over. Um, at first, I was a good girl. I was. I was doing my duties, doing what I should do as a police officer. But where's that got me, Douglas? Shot in the fucking titty seven times. I've had eight fucking tit surgeries in the last six months. So what are you telling me? You want to change sides? What are you saying? Douglas, this is an opportunity for both of us. We are a power couple. If we ruled this city together, there'd be no fucking turning back. So you're telling me you're going to quit Vic Palmer? Why do I need to quit? I'll just be a dirty undercover bitch. I like where you're going with this. And everyone thinks I hate you, but I actually don't because I'm madly in love with you, Douglas. Look at that moustache. Mm. Quite good, and then we are freshly shaved this morning. Nice little trim. Now, what I must say is why should I trust you? Douglas, take your glasses off and look into my beautiful amethyst eyes. Oh, I can't fucking see you now. He's a prescription. Douglas, look around. This fucking mansion is massive. I don't know if you know me, but I love money. I love power. I love bossing people around and pushing them over and stomping on their face. I can't do that on a Vic Paul salary, but I can do that on a fucking naughty, naughty man girl salary. Alrighty, everyone who's available, can I please get you up to the meeting room? Now, I've got a very special little announcement I'd like to make. As you guys all know, the other night I married Natasha Queen, who is now Natasha Stone. Now, after previous discussions, uh, let's just say things have escalated and moved quite quickly. She's decided she wants to take a turn in her life. Let's just say she wants to go from floating up in the clouds down to the depths of hell with people like us. She's told me she wants to be, as she said, a dirty bitch. You guys all know that big drug operation that we've been working on. As you guys know, tomorrow night we'll be transporting $2.5 million worth of cocaine, $50,000 worth of opium seeds, as well as those counterfeit credit cards. But the transportation process will begin at about 8.45 Eastern Standard. From there, we'll transport that black rumpo van with the number plate G. E372 to the 559 garage. Right now I know what the discussion was, okay, Gilman? I know. You know, when I proposed to uh, Natasha, you know, alarm bells began to ring. Red flags were waving in the air. You know, everyone was very hesitant to having, you know, a lady of the force around here at the property. And I know we all had that agreement that uh, we wouldn't mix business with pleasure. Now things have changed. You all know me as the hot cop, the sexy cop. Having a look around at this wonderful dynamic family, looking at these really rich marble roofs and shit is telling me that maybe being a cop is just not the life for me. After Douglas viciously kidnapped me and held me at gunpoint and made me marry him. At first, was I angry? Yes. Was I a little pissed off? Yes. Was I slightly turned on? Yeah. What I've come to realize, I'm never gonna make it to a mansion. I'm never going to have the amount of money that Douglas has if I continue to arrest stupid Dannys that fucking run me over and shit. I have been shot in my breast seven times. Seven. <laughs> I'm ready to do something different. And Douglas has presented me with this opportunity. Please. I go to the kitchen, make me some Probably. fucking eggs. Really simple. Cook the man some fucking eggs, bitch! Uh, first time we met Dave, we made him kill someone. Yeah, okay, we can do that. Long story short, everyone's going out now to uh, kidnap an individual. They mm -hmm. want you to put I mean, a bullet in this head. To show us huh? that you really are willing to come to this side. I am going to prove to you that marrying me is the best decision you have ever made. So you'll shoot the bullet. I will do whatever you need me to do, my husband. Well, consider it done. Do you mind if I just freshen up? My vagina's leaking.
Alrighty, guys, she has agreed to kill someone. Now, I'm very yeah. sorry that you've been selected for this, my friend. We should say sometimes okay. in life, bad things happen to good people. Now, Mrs. Stone, I'm going to ask you to pull out your firearm. My no. name is Natasha Stone, and I'm going to fuck some bitches up. Don't oh, shut up. Oh, God. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, are here. Yep, exactly. Cops are here. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Wow. Police are already oh, here. Okay. What? what do you mean? Okay. Right, let's go, darling. Your uh, workmates are here, right? I suppose you'll be able to spin our way out of this, won't you? Of course. Okay. Yeah, what's going on here, guys? So, I received a phone call, none of us number. They thought I was Natasha, I think. And they said that your life was on the line because you married me. But you married Natasha, obviously. And that they were going to put your head on a platter. So, I've come here to talk to you about that. And as I pulled up around the corner, I heard shots. So, I chucked on my sirens and I've come in. Well, let, let's just say, you know, there's a, you know, I've got a lot of enemies, you know. Yo, can we get one unit following that suit vehicle? Now, what did I say earlier, Joe? What's the whole point of all this? What was the reason? to find out if she could be trusted. Now look, I hate to say it to you. You know, you are my wife after all, but there's two very simple fucking options here. Option one, family fucking hate you, no one wants you around and everyone thinks you're a rat. Option two, you prove yourself. What if I lured a cop to the mansion and shot them in front of everyone? And I'm gonna get everyone around and I'm gonna send a GPS location and you're gonna go there with an officer. And if you shoot them, that will prove that you're one of us. Okay, Douglas, before you go, know that I'm in this for my time. Righty, I trust you now. Let's just say, shit's about to be stepped up another year. Now, I feel the same way as all well, you do. Know. I feel as though she can't be trusted, you know. We gave her the opportunity to kill just an average man. Now, I've told her, in order to prove that she's one of us, she must kill a cop. No way she doesn't, oh, bro. There's she's no agreed way. to the terms and conditions. She doesn't kill the cop. She agreed to the last bit. <laughs> well, this time here, it's not at our property. As long as we can't be seen and uh, we can't be identified, there's no proof. I'm sorry. Guys, she's done it. She's fucking done it. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's all move up the hills.